Hi everybody, I'm going to read poems from Assuming Size, which is the new split chat book of poetry by Jordan Castro, uh, James Payne, Ryan Jay, and Richard Werenberg Jr. Uh, first I'm going to read a poem called, this is by Jordan Castro, it's called Self-Help, Life-Affirming Philosophy Rooted in Existentialism, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, and the unidirectional nature of time. The secret is that you are enough. Through a calm, detached, mildly ambitious perception and assessment of situations and circumstances, I can increase intelligence levels, power levels, and good feelings in my brain. Through the ingestion of mostly raw organic vegan foods and the appropriate movement of my muscles, I can increase lifespan, physiological health, and well-being in general. This is important to me because I am not currently in the act of committing immediate suicide. I am perpetuating the idea that life is desirable during every moment in which I am existing in a state of not earnestly trying to kill myself immediately. Every sentient being who is currently existing in a state of not earnestly trying to kill myself immediately is displaying an interest in being alive. Thoughts control emotions and behaviors which means that in order to feel good or act in a desirable manner, one must process thoughts in a way that effectively enables this emotional behavioral response. You don't owe anything to anyone because each move moment is its own moment, separate from all other moments. And you are not you in past moments. You are you now, always. Allow for easy cognitive adjustments and modifications resulting in emotional behavioral adjustments and modifications, resulting in a state of being that embraces change, inconsistency, and you are different now than you were before. Pursuit of ownership over anything besides yourself is counterproductive. Nothing can ever be yours besides you. And the secret is you are enough. All right, second one is a poem by James Payne called One of Everything. I just feel like it would be nice for once and only once to go to J. Crew and get one of everything. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, Richard. Uh, and thanks again, Richard, for sending this to me. Um, it's called If You'll Have Me Versions. There was some father, some image of the father, the grit of his teeth, a six year old me the open palm, coming down like pendulum, some fractious pigeon seeking the respite of a cheek, a crumb on a highway. It is never the rude thing we push our anger on. This is the 22-year-old version of myself trading my minutes and moments for a discretionary hourly pay rate. Feeling fine about it, you know. This is the bear trap of our relation, distracted by spectacle while the heart corrodes, rust in blood indistinguishable to abscond with indelible scars, things you can't just throw out, and trying to turn a pencil upside down. To erase the trace, to forget the route we took to get here. There are city planners maneuvering their own blueprints, forgetful and drowning in their security, frowning at the skein of their weavings, just trying to keep anything at all. This is my 24-year-old body earnestly wanting to connect with yours blind and bloated with sincerity, swinging a top-heavy scimitar at some inconceivable shape brandishing back, some darkness washing over the shape of me, us. There are planets that are circling like vultures, and vultures that are circling like planets, i.e. I can't distinguish a vulture from a planet, ideally. Certain nouns seem more pertinent in my life, merely, because they are moving at the same tempo, in a similar footstep as the current version of myself. If not to walk with someone at a familiar pace, what is it we hope for? This is my 17-year-old mind, desperate for certainty, ignoring. This is my 21-year-old mind, letting go of things that want to. This is my 70-year-old mind, creaky, the slam door of time, well, slamming. A lonely path in the veins of the lungs we meet back somewhere one day in a breath. In this moment, irrevocably emptied, unfinalizable again. Where did you go? Ah, there. Forgetting, remembering, hoping, forgetting, remembering. I choose remembering. 
You are here and I am smiling, looking at you with the same hope and eyes as the 23-year-old version of me, as the four-year-old mass of myself. We are enclosed in a room and then we will leave it. Let me do it. I want to do it. Our relations are so small and yet I am sure we cannot be reduced to anything less than everything. Insert any argument. Posit any diminutive beautiful thing. I am here if you'll have me.